hey guys welcome so today we are going to start the problems on binary search tree so first let's understand what is about this tree so uh, so basically it's a binary tree first of all binary tree means which has two nodes right so it can have two node or it can have one node or it can have even zero nodes right so like in this case that 3 and 10 are the two nodes two child nodes of the 8 this 8 is our root node now this one has two null nodes so it has not any child and this 13 is a child of this is left child of 14 right so we say them the root then left child and right child so this is about binary tree but binary search tree is that where the left node is always less than the parent node and the right node is always the greater than the parent node so like in this case 3 is greater than 8 and 10 is greater than 8 right but 1 is less than 3 and 6 is greater than 3 so if you see any node this always be the less than of the parent node if it is right left and the right child is always be the greater than of the parent okay so this is a binary search tree construction so now we'll see what are the benefits of the bst so so when you decide any problem to solve you first think okay what is the best data structure like where your data should be stored so that you can efficiently insert your elements you efficiently delete your element and you efficiently search your element right so the least algorithm so the best algorithm will always give you the less complexity so if you take the example of the array or of the linked list then bst always has the greater capability or the better capability because it can search in a log n so you can see this is always like let's say if you want to search any element so you know that left child is always less than and greater is always right is always greater so you can always have the log n capability right so in the insert in the delete in the search we will see in future in our problems that bst is always has the least complexity and in always in the most of the cases they are in log n in an average case right so that is why bst is very good data structure to store the data and that is why we use the bst so let's start with constructing the bst so first of all uh, each node has the three elements first of you can say the one is the uh, the one is the element value which is which is a number so like uh, it, it can have any value right so let's say if you have the employee database you can have the age you can have the id you can have the name address so all value can be stored but right now we'll take only one value so like 8 this is the one value and then it has the left node and it has the right node so that we call as a class so first let's create a class that will be our node so this node has the int value so let's say this int data and then it has the node left and then it has the node right okay so now we have created our node now after that this this is our main function so let's create a main function right so now let's create another class where we will define all our methods and all our functions to operate and to use the tree so let's uh, say it as class bst so here we will write all our functions so let's say first create a uh, say bst a equals to new bst so that is my bst so first of all you will say and take one node so that will be my root node so initially my root node is null right so now what i want i want to insert the elements right so let's say i want to insert these same element so let's say i want to insert these element as per my uh, bst and i want to construct this bst so write a function insert so here i will write a function and that public insert and it should return me the node 
the final BST after inserting the element and then it should have the node node and then int int well you can say that you want to insert so right here so let's say a dot insert so first of all I want to insert the node which is the root and then I want to insert it okay so at the starting this root is null right root is null so what you will do we will write that if node equals not equals to null then first of all we will create a node right so we will say return create new node so in a node we will pass the value which we have received and then we will create a function so public we are uh, trimming these functions as public so let's say create new node and that receive the int k okay so now you will say you will create a function node i equals to new node and then you will say a dot data equals to k then a dot left equals to null because initially uh, the left and right child of that will be null so that is why when we are creating any node so we are just inserting the value what we have received and then we are terming left and uh, right node equal to null and then say return a right so that will give me the full node okay so we have saved okay if node equals to null then return create new node and then at the last return node so like the first case it will fulfill this so if you run this program let me put a debug point here and if you run this so go in the function and it will say that this node equals to null so it will go in the create new node it will go here it will create a object of node then it will insert the value and then it will return right so if you say this so let's say this a so if you see this a so now at let me check the root because okay so do one thing that uh, we haven't initialize the value because uh, this is the value which you want basically because initially root was null but now we will insert whatever the output of the method whatever the because that will return the node so we will insert the value here ok so let me debug it again so let directly go here and if you will see node so now the first root is 8 so 8 null and null right so now insert the another value let's say 3 so in the case of 3 go here and so now in this case this won't be null right so now we will need to write a function that if not equals to null if not not equals to null then check if value is less than equals to node dot data then in this case it's going node dot left and then again call the function and then pass the node dot left and then value so recursively it will call again the function and then it will so we'll see again uh, when you will debug it else check if value is greater than node of data then in this case node dot write and then recursively call the function node dot write and then value right else written 
so that's it so now what we are doing basically so let's go through the function then we'll automatically understand so go rather than this right here start the debug point so we have already seen this so now go here now node is not null because node is 8 now so it will check and what is the value value is 3 so 3 is less than node data so it will go here again and it will recursively call so node of left is null right now right so it will check again node of null is null node equals to null so it will again create new node right so if you see here it will give me the this 3 it, it will give me a new node so basically it will insert a, it will create a new node and where it will insert the value 3 and left and right child will be null so no and what is node node is 8 right so node and this is node left is 3 so when we are doing node dot left equal to insert so that will give me the 3 value so if you go here it won't go in as and if you see node so what node is node is 8 and left is 3 right so that is how we have inserted the value that's it right so now let's say i want to insert i want to insert 6 and now also write i want to insert 10 and i want to insert 4 then i want to insert 7 then i want to insert 1 then I want to insert 14 and lastly I want to insert 13 okay so start debug point here so we have already seen it okay so now we'll go in 6 so again the same process will happen that node is not null the value is less than node of data because it is 6 so it will go in node of left again recursively it will call now node is 3 but our value is 6 so it will check okay 6 is greater than this so 6 is greater than 3 so now it will go in node of right now node of right is null so it will again create a new node so it will create this node and it will it will create new node here it will give me this one and now node of right will be this the right node of this will be this one because it has returned from there right so it will return 6 now it will return node so if you see this this has become 3 and 6 so the right of 3 is 6 now so again recursively it will call this function it will return the node so if you see this it will say the left of 8 is 3 and the right of and the right of 3 is 6 right so that is how we store the values in binary search tree so let's say if you do the same thing lastly and if you check this the full value so you can say the left is 3 then the left is 1 then the right of 3 is 6 then the uh, left of 6 is 4 and the right of 4 is 7 and if you see right so right is 10 then 10 right is 14 then 14 left is 13 right friends so that is how we have constructed a bst so what all we need we need one node right so that we have created the classes this class node then we need another class to write all the functions so though we can write in the same class but it is always uh, best that you create the class that you create always different classes and even though we should write the all these different classes in separately we should not write in the same class but just for the uh, viewing at the same place we are writing at the same place so now we uh, so second class was the bst which where we are describing all the functions and then the application so that was all about the first video of bst of the constructing the bst and in the subsequent problems we'll see the more problems on bst Thanks friends for watching the video and if you like the video then please subscribe the channel. Thank you.